what is going on guys first video of the new year got new whole computer set up still working out kinks but they're getting there um still playing with new stuff obs had to do some weird things with that as well but we're working on it um I'm glad that I can start recording again because it's been killing me and I believe things are going to start looking way better now too. I can record at 60 frames per second, I can play at even higher frames per second, uh, everything is at least at a decent quality now too. It should be putting out at 1080p and I've watched some of it and it looks pretty good. I don't know how anyone makes theirs look better but some people do. We'll get there though, one day. But uh, until that point, I'm just glad to be back with all of you, all five of you guys that have been with me through all this and that are still out there. Um, thank you for sticking around. But this is pretty much just a little update and more content to be coming soon to you guys. So, recently I recorded a quote-unquote unboxing video. Um, it was only 30 loot boxes, but uh, that's all that I was able to really get during the event because during the upgrading of my new computer, I... something went wrong. It was something with the motherboard and the CPU. Um, not sure what went wrong where, but I had to uh, take it in somewhere to have it looked at and diagnosed and that took like two weeks to actually come back to me but uh it's a beast now one of the better computers uh for the price that i paid for it um so that's good now i will show y'all the uh what things i got from the boxes probably play some of that back but uh in addition to me quote unquote recording also it didn't record so that's another thing with that so i'm just gonna have to show you guys instead i was pretty happy with what i uh got from the boxes and i did buy a couple of things and some things i got super last minute like it was literally midnight of january 2nd and i was playing I was playing 3v3s to get all the loot boxes from that too. I was like, oh, I'm not going to make it because I figured the event was probably over at like 3 o'clock or something because I was pretty sure that's when they restart and stuff. But no, it happened like this morning sometime. I don't know. But, um, yeah, there's that. So I'm glad to uh, be back. And also, apparently, I got a new microphone and it much nicer than my previous one. My previous one was just like a cheap $20 microphone with like a $10 supply, power supply. So it wasn't really holding up to my likings. But So I'm glad I got this new one for Christmas. Um, while I have y'all here, while I'm talking about Christmas is all, um, hope y'all all had Good Christmas, happy holidays, um, happy new year to everyone. Um, funny Christmas story. So we had my grandma over for Christmas day and every Christmas we kind of, we don't normally have a lot of family over. There's not a lot of family that lives close to us, but we do still always cook, you know, a big meal. Um, it's usually just my mom, dad, sister and I, but I mean, still a big, Christmas meal for us. Um, so we got the normal, we got like the ham, mashed potatoes, um, green bean casserole. I don't know if that's a standard for y'all, but it's a pretty standard for us. Another thing that's pretty standard for us is sweet potato casserole. And me and my mom were cooking, um, and we were heating up a pot of tea or a not tea, a pot of water uh, to make tea and tang. And in doing so, uh, my mom turned on the wrong burner. So she thought she turned on the back burner, but she actually ended up turning on the front burner. 
which the sweet potato casserole was sitting on. So in like two, three minutes, I was like, something smells really sweet. And we looked and the sweet potatoes were boiling and steaming. And apparently my mom had did, done this earlier as well, not with like something actually on the burner, but she turned on the wrong burner. And she she got all upset and embarrassed. She's like, oh guys, I did it again, I'm sorry. And she was super upset about it. And she went to go take the sweet potatoes off of the burner as fast as she could because she didn't want them like burning or like, you know, anything happening with that. And when she took it off, she set it down on the stove top where the stove wasn't on, but it was in a glass container. So I don't know if you guys know, but when glass changes temperatures so fast, like it was that burner heats up to like, you know, 500 degrees or more because we had it on high heat. We're trying to boil water, but she switched from that extreme high heat to a cold countertop, which is probably like something 60, 70 something degrees. Um, so with that extreme temperature change, the sweet potatoes exploded. There were sweet potatoes and glass everywhere in the kitchen. We had to remake the green bean casserole. We had to throw away a whole bunch of like Christmas pastries sort of that we made, some peanut butter balls that we just dipped in chocolate. Um, we had to like scoop all of the sweet potatoes off of the stovetop and like get it all nice and clean. There was glass all over the floor mixed with sweet potatoes and like hardly any of us were wearing shoes. My dad was the only one wearing shoes at the time. So he pretty much had to sweep all that up while the rest of us stood still to not step in any glass. And then after that, we were all able to start kind of sweeping things up. But um, yeah, that was a crazy thing that happened. So luckily, um, another big thing, I just had a baby brother early December. And luckily our grandma was there because she was holding, you know, our baby brother and she was in the living room which is pretty far away from the kitchen so it was a good thing that she was actually here this Christmas and able to do that because if it weren't for that we probably would have had him in the kitchen with us and glass flying everywhere with a baby that's not a great mixture so I mean no one got hurt or anything the only thing that really got hurt is that we couldn't have any sweet potato casserole with dinner that day which was a bummer because that's a lot of our favorites aside from the green bean casserole but um aside from all of that it was still a great meal still had a lot of fun times minus that mishap but it still makes a great hilarious story but um yeah if y'all had anything crazy happen over Christmas or New Year's or any time since I was last on Go ahead and leave that down in the comments. I'll, I'll probably be able to read all of them because, I mean, there's going to be somewhere between zero and two comments. But no matter what, I love you all and I appreciate you being here. And I'll see you next time.